Have you ever dreamed of exploring a land where ancient history meets stunning coastlines and vibrant culture fills every corner? Welcome to Portugal, a country that enchants with its charming cities, breathtaking landscapes, and delectable cuisine. If planning the perfect trip feels overwhelming, fear not. Travel Moji is here to guide you every step of the way. Imagine wandering through the narrow streets of Lisbon, sipping port wine in Porto, or lounging on the golden beaches of the Algarve. Picture yourself hiking the lush trails of Madeira or exploring the volcanic wonders of the Azores. Portugal is a treasure trove of experiences waiting to be discovered. In this video, we'll take you on an unforgettable journey through Portugal. First, we'll share some fascinating travel facts that will give you a deeper appreciation for this amazing country. Then, We'll dive into the best places to visit, from iconic landmarks to hidden gems. Whether you're a history buff, a food lover, or an adventure seeker, Portugal has something to captivate your heart. So buckle up and get ready for an adventure with Travel Moji. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share your favorite Portuguese spots in the comments below. Your insights make our travel community even more vibrant and exciting. So. Let's embark on this incredible journey together and discover why Portugal should be your next travel destination only with Travel Moji. Travel Moji Facts About Portugal. Did you know that Portugal is the oldest country in Europe with the same borders since 1139? This fascinating nation has a rich history that predates many other European countries. But that's just the beginning of the amazing facts about Portugal. Portugal is also home to the world's oldest bookstore, Bertrand Bookstore in Lisbon, established in 1732. Book lovers, this is a must-visit spot. The country boasts the longest bridge in Europe, too, the Vasco da Gama Bridge, which stretches an impressive 17.2 kilometers across the Tagus River. Lisbon, Portugal's vibrant capital, is one of the oldest cities in Western Europe, even older than cities like London and Paris. It's a city where ancient history blends seamlessly with modern life, making it a truly unique destination. And here's a quirky fact. Portugal is known for its love of coffee. The Portuguese consume an average of four to five cups of coffee per day. When you visit, make sure to try a traditional bica, which is similar to an espresso. Additionally, Portugal's Algarve region is famous for having over 300 days of sunshine a year making it a perfect year-round destination for sunseekers. Did you know that the Portuguese invented the Via Verde, the world's first electronic toll collection system? This innovative spirit is just one of the many reasons Portugal continues to captivate visitors from around the globe. The country is also famous for its azulejos, beautiful ceramic tiles that adorn many buildings, telling stories through their intricate designs. These tiles are a significant part of Portuguese culture and art. Lastly, Portugal is a haven for surfers. It's home to Nazaré, where some of the world's biggest waves have been surfed, attracting surfers and thrill-seekers from all over the planet. Stay tuned as we dive into the best places to visit in this amazing country. From the bustling streets of Lisbon to the serene vineyards of the Douro Valley, and from the sun-kissed beaches of the Algarve to the lush landscapes of Madeira, We'll explore it all right here on Travel Moji. Don't forget to subscribe and share your favorite Portuguese spots in the comments below. Lisbon. First up on our journey is Lisbon, the vibrant capital of Portugal. Lisbon is a city of contrasts where ancient history blends seamlessly with modern culture. Did you know that Lisbon is one of the oldest cities in Western Europe, even older than Rome? This city is a treasure trove of experiences waiting to be discovered. Start your adventure by exploring the historic Belém Tower, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that once guarded the entrance to the city's harbor. The tower's ornate stonework and riverside location make it a perfect spot for photos. Here's an interesting fact. The Belém Tower was built in the early 16th century to celebrate Vasco da Gama's expedition to India. Nearby, you'll find the Geronimos Monastery, another UNESCO site, which is a stunning example of Manueline architecture. This grand monastery, 
with its intricate carvings and magnificent cloisters, offers a glimpse into Portugal's rich maritime history. Did you know that the monastery was funded by the profits from the spice trade? Don't miss the vibrant Alfama district, the oldest neighborhood in Lisbon. Wander through its narrow, winding streets lined with colorful houses and traditional tile facades. The Alfama is famous for its soulful fado music, which you can experience in one of the many cozy fado houses. Here's a fun fact. Fado music is recognized by UNESCO as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Take in the stunning views from the Miraduro da Senhora do Monte, a lookout point that offers panoramic vistas of the city and the Tagus River. For a taste of local life, hop on the iconic Tram 28, which will take you through some of Lisbon's most charming areas. This vintage yellow tram weaves its way up and down the city's steep hills, passing by major attractions like the Lisbon Cathedral and the bustling Barro Alto district. Did you know that Tram 28 has been operating since 1914 and is still one of the best ways to explore the city? Barro Alto is known for its vibrant nightlife, with countless bars and restaurants offering everything from traditional Portuguese cuisine to international fare. And of course, you can't leave Lisbon without trying the famous Paste de Belém, a delicious custard tart that has been a local favorite since 1837. Visit the Antiga Confitaria de Belém, where these pastries were first created, and savor one or more of these sweet treats with a sprinkle of cinnamon and powdered sugar. Here's an interesting tidbit. The recipe for Paste de Belém is a closely guarded secret known only to a few master bakers. For those interested in contemporary culture, head to the LX Factory, a creative hub housed in a former industrial complex. Here you'll find trendy shops, art galleries, and hip eateries. It's a great place to see Lisbon's modern, innovative side. Did you know that the LX Factory was once a fabric production plant in the 19th century? Whether you're exploring historic landmarks, enjoying the lively markets, or simply soaking up the atmosphere in a quaint cafe, Lisbon offers something for every traveler. From its rich history and vibrant culture to its delicious food and stunning views, Lisbon is a city that captivates and inspires. Porto. Next on our journey is Porto, the second largest city in Portugal, renowned for its stately bridges and world-famous port wine. Porto's historic center is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, full of charm and character. Start your exploration in the Ribeira District, a picturesque area along the Douro River. The Ribeira is known for its colorful buildings, lively cafes, and stunning river views. Here's an interesting fact. The Ribera district dates back to Roman times and has been a bustling hub of activity for centuries. One of Porto's most famous landmarks is the Livraria Lello, often considered one of the most beautiful bookstores in the world. Did you know that this bookstore, with its stunning Art Nouveau design and intricate wooden staircase, is said to have inspired J.K. Rowling's vision for the Harry Potter series? Rowling lived in Porto while working as an English teacher and was a frequent visitor to this enchanting bookstore. Cross the iconic Dom Luis the Fertor Bridge, which connects Porto to Vila Nova de Gaia. This double-deck iron bridge was designed by a student of Gustave Eiffel and opened in 1886. It offers spectacular views of the city and the Douro River. Fun fact! The upper level of the bridge is used by pedestrians and the metro, while the lower level is for cars and pedestrians. In Vila Nova de Gaia, you'll find the famous port wine cellars. Porto is the birthplace of port wine, a sweet fortified wine that has been produced here for centuries. Take a tour of the cellars, learn about the history of port wine, and, of course, enjoy some tastings. Here's an interesting tidbit. The aging process for port wine often takes place in cellars beneath the city, where the unique climate conditions are ideal for maturation. For a unique perspective of Porto, hop on a boat cruise along the Douro River. These cruises offer breathtaking views of the city's skyline and the beautiful terraced vineyards that line the river. 
Did you know that the Douro Valley, upstream from Porto, is one of the oldest demarcated wine regions in the world? Don't forget to try Porto's signature dish, the Francesinha. This hearty sandwich is made with layers of bread, cured meats, and melted cheese, topped with a rich tomato and beer sauce. It's often served with a fried egg on top and a side of fries. Here's a fun fact. The Francesinha was inspired by the French croque monsieur, but adapted to suit Portuguese tastes, becoming a beloved local specialty. Finally, visit the São Bento railway station, famous for its stunning azulejo, ceramic tile panels that depict scenes from Portuguese history. This beautiful station, completed in 1916, is an architectural marvel and a testament to Portugal's rich artistic heritage. Porto is a city that seamlessly blends tradition and modernity, offering a wealth of experiences for every traveler. Whether you're exploring historic sites, enjoying a leisurely river cruise, or savoring local delicacies, Porto will captivate and inspire you. Sintra. Next on our journey is Sintra, a fairy tale town nestled in the hills of the Sintra Cascais Natural Park. Sintra is a place of magical beauty and historical significance, often described as a wonderland for its enchanting palaces, lush gardens, and mystical forests. Start your exploration at the Pena Palace, one of the most iconic landmarks in Portugal. This colorful Romanticus castle, perched atop a hill, offers breathtaking views of the surrounding landscape. Did you know that Pena Palace was commissioned by King Ferdinand II in the 19th century and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site? Its vibrant colors and eclectic architecture make it look like something out of a storybook. Next, Visit the mystical Quinta da Regaleira, a grand estate featuring an elaborate palace, chapel, and expansive gardens filled with grottos, wells, and hidden tunnels. One of the most intriguing features is the Initiation Well, a spiral staircase that descends deep into the earth, symbolizing a journey into the unknown. Here's an interesting fact. The design of Quinta da Regalera is heavily influenced by secret societies such as the Freemasons and the Knights Templar, adding to its mysterious allure. Don't miss the historic Moorish castle, which dates back to the 8th century and offers panoramic views of Sintra and the Atlantic Ocean. This medieval fortress, with its stone walls and battlements, provides a glimpse into the region's rich history. Did you know that the castle was originally built by the Moors to protect the fertile lands of Sintra and was later expanded by the Christian forces after the Reconquista? For a taste of local life, wander through the charming streets of Sintra's old town. Here you'll find quaint shops, cafes, and pastry shops selling traditional sweets like traveseros and quejadas. These delicious pastries are a must-try for anyone visiting Sintra. Fun fact, Traveseros are puff pastries filled with almond cream, while quejadas are small cheesecakes made with fresh cheese, sugar, and cinnamon. Take a hike through the lush forests of the Sintra Mountains, where you'll discover hidden gems like the Convent of the Capuchos, a humble Franciscan monastery built into the rock. This secluded retreat, surrounded by nature, offers a peaceful escape from the hustle and bustle of modern life. Did you know that the convent was founded in 1560 and is known for its austere, minimalist architecture? For those interested in botany and horticulture, a visit to the Montserrat Palace and its exotic gardens is a must. The palace's design is a blend of Gothic, Indian, and Moorish influences, and its gardens are home to a diverse collection of plants from around the world. Here's an interesting tidbit. The Montserrat Palace was built by Sir Francis Cook, an English merchant, in the mid-19th century and is one of the finest examples of romantic architecture in Portugal. Sintra is a town that feels like it has been plucked from the pages of a fantasy novel. Whether you're exploring its grand palaces, wandering through its mystical gardens, or simply soaking in the breathtaking views, Sintra is a place that captivates the imagination and leaves a lasting impression. Algarve. Next, we head to the Algarve, 
Portugal's southernmost region, renowned for its stunning beaches, dramatic cliffs, and vibrant nightlife. The Algarve is a sun-soaked paradise with something for everyone, from adventure seekers to those looking for a relaxing getaway. Start your adventure at Ponta da Piedade, a breathtaking coastal area near Lagos. This natural wonder features towering limestone cliffs, hidden grottos, and crystal clear waters. Did you know that the rock formations at Ponta da Piedade have been shaped over thousands of years by the relentless action of the sea and wind? Take a boat tour to explore the sea caves and arches up close, or enjoy the views from the clifftop paths. Next, visit the charming town of Lagos, which boasts a mix of historical sites and modern attractions. Wander through the cobbled streets of the old town, explore the 17th century fort of Ponta da Bandera, and visit the ornate church of St. Anthony. Here's an interesting fact. Lagos was a major center of the Portuguese Age of Discovery and you can learn more about this fascinating period at the Museu Municipal Dr. José Formosinho. For beach lovers, the Algarve offers some of the most beautiful beaches in Europe. Head to Praia da Marinha, often considered one of the best beaches in the world. Its golden sands, clear turquoise waters, and stunning rock formations make it a perfect spot for swimming, snorkeling, and sunbathing. Fun fact, Praia da Marinha has been featured in numerous travel guides and is a popular location for advertising campaigns. Another must-visit beach is Praia de Benagil, famous for the Benagil Sea Cave. This iconic cave, with its stunning natural skylight, is accessible only by boat, kayak, or stand-up paddleboard. It's a true natural wonder that shouldn't be missed. Did you know that the Benagil Sea Cave is one of the most photographed spots in the Algarve? The Algarve is also a fantastic destination for water sports. Try your hand at surfing in Sagres, known for its excellent waves and surf schools. Alternatively, you can go kayaking, paddleboarding, or sailing along the coast. Here's a fun fact. The Algarve's coastline stretches over 150 kilometers, providing ample opportunities for water-based activities. For a taste of local culture, visit the town of Tavira, often called the Venice of the Algarve due to its picturesque canals and bridges. Explore the medieval Tavira Castle, the Roman Bridge, and the many beautiful churches that dot the town. Tavira is also known for its traditional tiled houses and vibrant market, where you can sample local produce and delicacies. Interesting tidbit, Tavira is home to one of the largest concentrations of churches in Portugal, with over 20 churches within the town. Finally, don't miss the Algarve's vibrant nightlife, especially in Albufera. This lively town offers a wide range of bars, clubs, and restaurants, ensuring a fun night out. Whether you prefer a quiet evening at a beachside bar or dancing the night away at a club, Albufera has something for everyone. Whether you're exploring dramatic coastlines, enjoying the sun-soaked beaches, or immersing yourself in the local culture, the Algarve is a region that promises unforgettable experiences and breathtaking beauty. Douro Valley. Next on our journey is the Douro Valley, one of the oldest and most beautiful wine regions in the world. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is renowned for its terraced vineyards, scenic beauty, and of course, its famous port wine. Start your adventure with a river cruise along the Douro River. These cruises offer stunning views of the terraced vineyards that line the riverbanks and the charming villages nestled among them. Did you know that the Douro Valley is one of the oldest demarcated wine regions in the world, with wine production dating back over 2,000 years? The unique landscape, shaped by centuries of viticulture, creates a breathtaking backdrop for your journey. Visit the historic wine estates, known as Quintas, where you can learn about the winemaking process and sample some of the finest port wines. One of the most famous estates is Quinta do Seixo, which offers guided tours and tastings. Here's an interesting fact. The grapes used to produce port wine are still often tread by foot in large stone vats, 
a traditional method that has been preserved for generations. Explore the charming town of Pinho, located at the heart of the Douro Valley. The Pinho railway station is famous for its beautiful azulejo, tile panels that depict scenes of the local wine harvest. Fun fact, the station's tile work is considered one of the most beautiful examples of azulejo art in Portugal. For a different perspective, take a scenic train ride along the Douro line. This historic railway runs from Porto to Pochinho, offering spectacular views of the river and vineyards. The train journey is a great way to see the region's natural beauty and is often described as one of the most picturesque train rides in Europe. Enjoy a traditional Portuguese meal at a local restaurant where you can pair your food with a variety of regional wines. The Douro Valley is known for its hearty cuisine, including dishes like roasted lamb and bacalao, salted cod. Interesting tidbit, the region's cuisine is deeply connected to its wine culture, with many recipes incorporating wine as a key ingredient. Don't miss the opportunity to visit Peso de Regua, the main town of the Douro Valley, which serves as the region's wine capital. The Douro Museum here provides an excellent overview of the valley's history, culture, and wine production. Fun fact, Peso da Regua was the first demarcated and regulated wine region in the world, established in 1756. Whether you're enjoying a leisurely river cruise, sampling world-class wines, or exploring the scenic landscapes, the Douro Valley offers a unique and unforgettable experience. It's a place where history, culture, and natural beauty come together in perfect harmony. Madeira. Next, we head to Madeira, an autonomous region of Portugal, often referred to as the Pearl of the Atlantic. This stunning island is known for its rugged landscapes, lush greenery, and unique traditions, making it a paradise for nature lovers and adventure seekers alike. Begin your visit in Funchal, the capital city of Madeira. Funchal is famous for its beautiful botanical gardens, such as the Madeira Botanical Garden and Monte Palace Tropical Garden. These gardens showcase a diverse range of exotic plants and offer stunning views over the city and the Atlantic Ocean. Did you know that Funchal is named after the fennel plant, Funcho in Portuguese, which grew abundantly in the area when it was first settled? One of the most thrilling experiences in Madeira is taking a ride in a traditional toboggan down the steep streets of Monte. These wicker sledges, guided by two skilled drivers, offer a unique and exhilarating way to see the city. Fun fact, this tradition dates back to the 19th century, when it was used as a fast means of transportation from Monte to Funchal. Explore the Laura Silva Forest a UNESCO World Heritage Site that covers about 20% of Madeira. This ancient laurel forest is home to a rich variety of flora and fauna and offers numerous hiking trails for all levels of fitness. Interesting tidbit, the Laura Silva Forest is one of the few remaining remnants of the laurel forests that once covered much of Southern Europe. For those who enjoy hiking, the Levada trails are a must-do. These trails follow the old irrigation channels, Levadas, that were built to carry water from the mountains to the agricultural regions. One of the most popular routes is the Levada do Caldeirão Verde, which leads to a stunning waterfall. Here's an interesting fact. There are over 2,000 kilometers of Levadas on Madeira, providing a vast network of scenic trails. Don't miss Cabo Giron Skywalk, one of the highest sea cliffs in Europe, standing at 580 meters above sea level. The skywalk features a glass floor, allowing you to look straight down to the ocean below. A truly breathtaking experience. Fun fact, Cabo Giron is a popular spot for base jumping and paragliding, attracting thrill seekers from around the world. Madeira is also famous for its wine, particularly Madeira wine, a fortified wine that has been produced on the island for centuries. Visit the Blandy's Wine Lodge in Funchal to learn about the history and production process of this unique wine and enjoy a tasting session. Did you know that Madeira wine was a favorite of American founding fathers, including Thomas Jefferson? For a taste of local culture, 
visit one of Madeira's traditional markets, such as the Mercado dos Lavradores in Funchal. Here, you can sample local delicacies, including fresh tropical fruits, poncha, a traditional alcoholic drink made with aguardente, honey, and lemon, and the famous Madeira cake. Madeira also boasts a vibrant cultural scene with numerous festivals and events throughout the year. The Madeira Flower Festival, held in spring, is a spectacular celebration of the island's blooming flowers, featuring parades, flower displays, and traditional music. Interesting tidbit, the Madeira Wine Festival, held in late summer, celebrates the island's wine heritage with tastings, concerts, and folkloric shows. Whether you're exploring lush forests, hiking scenic trails, or enjoying the vibrant culture and delicious food, Madeira offers an unforgettable experience for every traveler. It's a place where natural beauty and rich traditions come together to create a truly magical destination. Azores. Next, we journey to the Azores, an archipelago of nine volcanic islands in the North Atlantic Ocean, known for their stunning landscapes, marine life, and outdoor adventures. The Azores are a paradise for nature enthusiasts and adventure seekers, offering a unique blend of volcanic craters, lush greenery, and vibrant culture. Start your exploration on São Miguel, the largest island in the Azores. Visit the Seite Cidades Crater Lakes, one of the most iconic and picturesque sites in the archipelago. These twin lakes, one blue and one green, are nestled within a massive volcanic crater. Fun fact, according to local legend, the lakes were formed from the tears of a shepherd and a princess who were forbidden to marry. Don't miss the hot springs of Furnace, where you can relax in natural thermal pools surrounded by lush vegetation. The town of Furnas is also famous for its geothermal cooking, where local dishes like cozido das Furnas are cooked underground using volcanic steam. Interesting tidbit, this traditional dish, a mix of meats and vegetables, is cooked slowly in pots buried in the hot earth, resulting in a unique and delicious flavor. Head to Pico Island, home to Portugal's highest peak, Mount Pico, an impressive stratovolcano that stands 2,351 meters tall. Hiking to the summit of Mount Pico offers breathtaking views of the surrounding islands and the Atlantic Ocean. Did you know that Pico is known as the Mountain Island due to this towering volcano that dominates its landscape? The Azores are also one of the best places in the world for whale watching. Head to the island of Fayol, where you can join a whale watching tour to see these majestic creatures up close. The waters around the Azores are home to a variety of whale species, including sperm whales, blue whales, and humpback whales. Fun fact, the Azores were historically an important whaling center, but today they are a model for marine conservation and sustainable tourism. For those who enjoy hiking and exploring nature, the Azores offer numerous trails that wind through lush forests, past stunning waterfalls, and around volcanic craters. One of the most popular hikes is the trail to the Lagoa do Fogo on São Miguel, a pristine lake set within a volcanic crater. Here's an interesting fact. Lagoa do Fogo, or Lake of Fire, is a protected nature reserve, ensuring its unspoiled beauty for future generations. Don't miss the opportunity to visit the vineyards of Pico Island, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The unique landscape of basalt stone-walled vineyards, shaped by centuries of hard work, produces some of the finest wines in Portugal. Interesting tidbit, the volcanic soil and unique microclimate of Pico give the wines a distinctive flavor, making them highly sought after. The island of Tertera is known for its vibrant cultural heritage and historic sites. Explore the charming town of Angra do Heroísmo, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, with its colorful buildings, historic churches, and impressive fortifications. Did you know that Angra do Heroísmo played a crucial role in the maritime exploration and trade routes of the 15th and 16th centuries? Finally, Experience the unique Azorean culture through their festivals and traditional music. 
The San Juaninas Festival on Tercera is one of the largest and oldest festivals in the Azores, featuring parades, bullfights, and concerts. Fun fact, the Azorean folk music, known as Shamarita, is an integral part of their cultural heritage, often performed at local festivals and gatherings. Whether you're hiking volcanic peaks, relaxing in hot springs, or exploring historic towns, the Azores offer a diverse and captivating experience. The natural beauty and rich culture of these islands make them a must-visit destination for any traveler. Coimbra. Next, we travel to Coimbra, a city steeped in history and home to one of the oldest universities in Europe. Coimbra is a charming and intellectual hub, offering a mix of ancient traditions, vibrant student life, and beautiful architecture. Start your visit at the University of Coimbra, established in 1290. This prestigious institution is one of the oldest in continuous operation in the world and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The university's Biblioteca Joanina is a must-see, renowned for its stunning Baroque architecture and vast collection of ancient books. Interesting fact? The library is home to a colony of bats that help preserve the books by eating insects that could damage the pages. Explore the historic Coimbra University buildings, including the Royal Palace of Alcasava, the Capella de São Miguel, and the iconic Joanina Library. Did you know that the University of Coimbra was originally founded in Lisbon and later moved to Coimbra in 1537? Wander through the narrow, winding streets of Coimbra's old town, which is filled with charming shops, cafes, and historic sites. The Se Vela, Old Cathedral, is a Romanesque masterpiece dating back to the 12th century and one of the best-preserved buildings of its kind in Portugal. Fun fact, the Sevelha is famous for its fortress-like appearance and beautifully carved portals. Visit the Canimbriga Roman ruins, located just outside the city. Canimbriga is one of the best-preserved Roman sites in Portugal, featuring intricate mosaics, ancient baths, and the remains of Roman houses. Here's an interesting tidbit. Conimbriga was inhabited from the Iron Age through the Roman era and was once a thriving Roman city. For a taste of local culture, attend a Fado de Coimbra performance. Unlike the Fado of Lisbon, Coimbra's Fado is traditionally sung by male university students and is deeply rooted in the city's academic traditions. Did you know that Fado de Coimbra is usually performed in academic attire and often includes serenades in the city's narrow streets? Coimbra also offers beautiful parks and gardens, perfect for a leisurely stroll. The Jardim Botanico, one of the oldest botanical gardens in Portugal, was established in the 18th century and features a diverse collection of plants from around the world. Fun fact. The garden was originally created for the study of medicinal plants and still serves as an educational resource for the university. Another highlight is the Monastery of Santa Clara Avelia, a Gothic monastery founded in the 14th century. The monastery was abandoned due to frequent flooding from the nearby Mondego River, and today it stands as a fascinating historical site. Did you know that the monastery's flooding issues were so severe that the nuns had to move to a new location, Santa Clara Anova, built on higher ground? So end your visit with a stroll along the banks of the Mondego River, where you can enjoy picturesque views of the city and relax at one of the riverside cafes. The Ponte de Santa Clara, a bridge that spans the river, offers great photo opportunities of Coimbra's skyline. Whether you're exploring ancient ruins, enjoying a Fado performance, or wandering through historic streets, Coimbra is a city that combines rich history with a lively cultural scene. It's a place where tradition and modernity coexist, offering visitors a unique and memorable experience. Evora. Next, we journey to Evora, a beautifully preserved medieval city in the Alentejo region of Portugal. Evora is a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its rich history, stunning architecture, and vibrant culture. 
This city is often described as an open-air museum with its well-preserved monuments and historical sites. Begin your exploration at the Roman Temple of Evera, also known as the Temple of Diana. This ancient temple, dating back to the first century AD, is one of the best preserved Roman structures on the Iberian Peninsula. Interesting fact, despite its common name, there is no direct evidence linking the temple to the goddess Diana. It was likely dedicated to Emperor Augustus. Next, visit the Evora Cathedral, one of the oldest and most important Gothic buildings in Portugal. The cathedral, constructed between the 12th and 13th centuries, features a mix of Romanesque and Gothic architecture. Did you know that you can climb to the rooftop for panoramic views of the city and the surrounding Alentejo Plains? One of the most intriguing and macabre sites in Évora is the Chapel of Bones, Capella dos Ossos, located in the Church of St. Francis. The chapel is lined with the bones and skulls of thousands of monks, a somber reminder of the transience of life. Fun fact, above the entrance of the chapel, there is an inscription that reads, Nos ossos que aqui estamos, pelos vossos esperamos, which translates to, We bones that are here, await yours. Wander through the Praça do Giraldo, the main square in Évora, which is surrounded by beautiful buildings and lively cafes. This square has been the heart of the city since medieval times and is the perfect place to relax and soak up the local atmosphere. Interesting tidbit, the square is named after Geraldo Sempavor, Gerald the Fearless, a knight who reconquered Évora from the Moors in the 12th century. Évora is also home to the University of Évora, established in 1559, making it one of the oldest universities in Portugal. The university's main building, the Colegio do Espírito Santo, is a stunning example of Renaissance architecture. Did you know that the university was initially founded as a Jesuit college and played a significant role in the Counter-Reformation? For a taste of local culture, explore the city's many museums, such as the Évora Museum, which houses a vast collection of archaeological and art pieces, including Roman artifacts and religious art. Another highlight is the Museum of Sacred Art, located in the old Archbishop's Palace, which features an impressive collection of ecclesiastical art. Evora's culinary scene is deeply rooted in Alentejo traditions. Sample local dishes like a torta, a bread-based soup, migas, a dish made with leftover bread, and porco preto, black pork. Pair your meal with a glass of local wine from the Alentejo region, known for its robust and flavorful red wines. Fun fact, the Alentejo region is one of Portugal's largest wine-producing areas, and its wines are gaining international recognition for their quality. Just outside the city, visit the Almendras Cromlech, a megalithic complex that predates Stonehenge. This ancient site, consisting of nearly 100 standing stones arranged in elliptical patterns, offers a fascinating glimpse into the prehistoric past. Did you know that the Almendras Cromlech is estimated to be over 7,000 years old, making it one of the oldest and largest stone circles in Europe? Whether you're exploring ancient ruins, marveling at Gothic architecture, or indulging in traditional cuisine, Evora is a city that captivates with its rich history and cultural heritage. It's a place where every corner tells a story, offering a unique and immersive experience for every traveler. Braga. Next, we head to Braga, one of the oldest cities in Portugal and a place where history, religion, and vibrant culture intersect. Known as the Rome of Portugal, Braga boasts an impressive array of churches, historic sites, and lively festivals. Start your visit at the Bom Jesus de Monte, one of Portugal's most famous pilgrimage sites. This monumental Baroque staircase climbs 116 meters and features beautifully decorated chapels representing the Stations of the Cross. Fun fact, you can take the historic funicular, which dates back to 1882 and is one of the oldest water-powered lifts in the world, to the top for stunning views of Braga and its surroundings. Next, visit Braga Cathedral, Seda Braga, the oldest cathedral in Portugal, built in the 11th century. The cathedral is a masterpiece of different architectural styles, 
including Romanesque, Gothic, and Baroque. Interesting fact, Braga Cathedral houses the tombs of Henry of Burgundy and Teresa of Leon, the parents of Portugal's first king, Afonso I. Explore the city's historic center, filled with charming streets, squares, and gardens. The Praça da República, also known as Arcada, is the city's main square and a popular gathering spot. Here's a fun tidbit. Braga is known for its lively café culture, so take the time to enjoy a coffee and a nata, custard tart, at one of the many outdoor cafés. Visit the Biscaynos Museum, housed in a beautiful Baroque palace, which offers a glimpse into the life of the Portuguese nobility in the 17th and 18th centuries. The museum's gardens are a highlight, featuring meticulously maintained flower beds, fountains, and ornamental ponds. Did you know that the Biscaynos Museum also includes a collection of fine arts, furniture, and decorative arts from the period? Another must-see is the Sanctuary of Our Lady of Semero, the second-largest Marian sanctuary in Portugal after Fatima. Located on a hilltop, this sanctuary offers breathtaking views and a peaceful atmosphere. Fun fact, the statue of the Virgin Mary at the Sanctuary of Our Lady of Semero was crowned by Pope Pius IX in 1869. Braga is also famous for its religious festivals, especially the Holy Week, Semana Santa celebrations, which are some of the most elaborate in Portugal. These festivities include processions, religious ceremonies, and traditional music, drawing visitors from all over the world. Interesting tidbit, Braga's Holy Week traditions date back to the fourth century, making it one of the oldest continuous religious celebrations in Europe. For a taste of local culture, visit the Mercado Municipal de Braga, where you can find fresh produce, local cheeses, and traditional Portuguese delicacies. Sample regional specialties like caldo verde, acale and potato soup, and bacalao a Braga, Braga-style codfish. Did you know that Braga is also known for its vinho verde, green wine, a young, slightly effervescent wine that pairs perfectly with local dishes? Braga's cultural scene is vibrant and diverse, with numerous theaters, galleries, and music venues. Teatro Circo, an ornate 20th century theater, hosts a variety of performances, from classical music to contemporary dance. Fun fact, Braga was named the European Youth Capital in 2012, reflecting its dynamic and youthful spirit. Whether you're climbing the steps of Bom Jesus, exploring historic cathedrals, or enjoying the lively atmosphere of its festivals, Braga offers a rich and immersive experience. It's a city where tradition and modernity coexist, providing visitors with a unique glimpse into the heart of Portuguese culture and history.